welcome back to a new video on our channel. This is Sadie, this is Paul. We're currently traveling Europe with our Wii Camper. Since we are traveling now in a motorhome, we have noticed that living in a house is quite different than living in a van. And we want to give a couple of examples in this video. At the end of the long day away from home, you know how you're getting home, where your home is, and you know that in your home, waiting for you is your bed. On the road, no such luck. Guys, we had a really beautiful spot for tonight. This is the view. However, it was awful, which means we can't sleep there, we can't cook there. And so we now, at about eight o'clock in the evening, have to find another place. We haven't had supper. We haven't eaten yet. We haven't even cooked. We haven't even cooked. We don't know where we're gonna sleep tonight, and tomorrow we're gonna mean to go into Genoa. City parking is never ideal. Fingers crossed we have somewhere to sleep tonight. Living in a flat or in a house means going to bed is pretty much every time the same. As everything around you is the same, but especially you have good insulation. Not so in a van. goes for when you wake up in the morning. Paul? Yeah? Are you awake? Since ages. I can't sleep. It's too cold. I woke up a long time ago. What tea do you want? Don't care. Any tea. Just something warm, please. Okay. Can't sleep too hot. Why? What tea do you want? <laughs> no tea. Anything cold. I see. When you live on a fixed location, you know your area, you know your people. You know your way to work. You know your way to your friends. You know your friends, you have friends. <laughs> Everything is pretty reliable in a way. But when you're traveling, the rules the roads, the people, everything is changing all the time. You tell them. The Italians don't believe that a two-lane road should be a two-lane road. They make it into a three-lane. I mean, it doesn't make a difference. We're still stuck. Wait, so we had a traffic light. This guy just came from there and just shot in. This guy just shot in from there too and just crossed right over and stands there now on the pavement. And suddenly there are two cars facing me. When you are always in one place, you know where your shopping centers and your supermarkets and your little stores and your favorite restaurants are. But when you're traveling, that is not quite as easy. Things are changing all the time and you have to adjust to different opening times, to different products, limited products. You might not find your products all the time. The supermarkets are always different. It's just more complicated. We often end up running through the aisles a million times because we need to search for a product that we want and we don't even know if it is there. And I got this particular honey. Turns out it's actually some random mix of honey and propolis. We also, in France, had it that we picked eggs, that we took some eggs, and turns out they were boiled eggs, and then we wanted to boil eggs that were already boiled. You know how you just enter a room and it's dark and so you just flick the light switch and the light turns on? Well, that can work like this in a van, but it doesn't have to. Oh, seriously? Battery replacement in the middle of Portugal. 
Not easy to find, not cheap, but at least we're gonna get light soon. Hashtag barn life. Washing dishes. In a house, you normally have a dishwasher, and even if you don't, it's quite easy to wash them by hand. In a van, there's a few more steps to that. Paul, you still need to do washing up. We'll do it now. To save water, we of course use as little as possible, aren't we? Oh no, the water chunk. It's empty. I can't do washing up. I wish I would live in a house. When you live in a house and you need to go to the toilet, you go to the bathroom, you go to the toilet, you flush, easy. Not like that on the road. I need to pee. Oh no, the toilet is full. We can't go and pee. Better? Better. On the other hand, living in a house means you're probably doing the same things every day, seeing the same view, eating similar food every day, you're seeing the same people every day, you're doing pretty much the same stuff every day, shopping at the same places, and so on. If you are willing to give a bit of comfort up for some beautiful views and some adventures, then van life might just be the right thing for you. We do enjoy very much all these beautiful views and locations and seeing all the different cultures. And we are willing to put a bit more effort into our daily lives in exchange for this amazing adventure we get to have. I hope you enjoyed this little bit of different video from us. We normally do a lot of vlogs, you can have a look at this and otherwise give us a like if you enjoyed the video and we see you next time. See ya! Bye bye!